Hey everyone and welcome back. So I just want to kind of start uh, to finish off filling up this page. I'm going to start thinking about a couple of different like UI elements that maybe we, you know, maybe we didn't uh, think about too much. So maybe let's start with uh, thinking about, so the profile, we kind of removed it from the nav and I think, you know, maybe we should have like a static uh, persistent like avatar in the top. So let's see where we are on our grid. So we can start thinking about, you know, if we do have avatars, like what do they look like? I'm gonna use the plugin uh, over here called Content Reel. And I have this selected, I'm just going to select an avatar. And there we go, we have our avatar that just plops right in. And that's pretty cool, I mean, that's something to think about. Do we need something like that? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Maybe we need to rework our nav a bit. What about this, I mean, what happens if people want to see more? Do we have a title here and do we have another link? Is that too much to kind of have that over and over again on a page? Maybe, I don't know. Um, what we can do is we can start thinking about some alternatives. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create a large button and within that button I'm going to place, or within that frame I'm going to place uh, some text and I'm just going to just say, discover more. Like maybe I'm, I'm here, I'm also exploring different things like um, just our language. What type of language do we wanna use? Do we wanna entice users like that? Do we wanna stay more standard, like just saying stuff like see more? These are the types of questions you should be asking yourself. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to make that like that. I'm going to actually make this an auto layout. So I switch out the vertical so I can adjust the width. And um, that's fine. The top, uh, we want to make this like a 48 pixel. So we're just going to have to do a little bit of testing to get it there. So we got 48. Hmm. Let's roll with 48. I think that's fine. This needs to go in the middle, so we're just gonna adjust that to the middle. Let's make this reach the end of our, our grid, so it's centered. That looks good, that looks good. We don't need any space in between, and we need a fill. 100% we need a fill, so we can start thinking about like buttons. We have this kind of this yellow from our app. Uh, let's actually just grab that logo. So we have this uh, this yellow that we're using. We're, we're sticking very much with the branding and the color palette that we've kind of expanded upon. I don't know if I like this teal that much. It's making things look really kind of dull, but let's just keep going and uh, we will figure it out. 100% we will figure it out. So you'll notice how I've broken up my color styles and I'll get into that later, but it just makes it easier when you kind of break it up by use case. So like background, text, even if you're repeating the colors, you'll notice like I've repeat white a bunch. Um, so that way if I'm in a very complex component like this, I can easily just pick off like what's a UI color, what's a text color. And if there's multiples, I just wanna change the text color. I can easily just find anything that says like UI or text and just change the base off of that. I haven't been using that here. It makes it really easy to go back and um, make some of those changes. Okay, so for color, I think white will be fine uh, in terms of accessibility. I think like that's pretty good. Uh, we'll need to test that for sure. I, I'm sure this is not accessible. Uh, so like I said, we'll just test. Uh, but I'm kind of liking this nice orange button. Like what happens if we kind of add an effect to it? So what I like to do is I'll just create a copy over here. Usually like this is well done. I'll just create a bunch of different copies of things and I'm starting to see like, okay, this is where we're kind of going in terms of our exploration, just general hierarchy. Like when you see things separated away from the page, let's just remove this image. And it, you start to kind of like, oh, this is looking very interesting and I can see uh, if these little pieces can kind of survive on their own. I may go back to this image here. Uh, this needs to be uh, refined a bit. I can start seeing like just the general visual direction of my designs uh, much more easier than just kind of viewing in a page one after the other. 
as they're kind of secluded to where you're viewing them on the screen. So I'm trying to make one like cohesive language. We have a button here. I really like the button a lot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an effect. Uh, maybe this will work. So I have um, a default shadow. So that's really nice. So I'm starting to think like, okay, what happens when it's active? What happens when somebody taps on it? Uh, on desktop, what happens if somebody hovers over it? So I'm starting to think about all these little micro interactions as well at this point. Like does somebody just click and the shadow kind of disappears, kind of like the button's been pressed to the bottom or maybe nothing happens, I don't know. So um, just something to think about you know, to incorporate that early. I kind of like the shadow, we'll leave it for now. Uh, we'll place that up there. Uh, let's also think about some like secondary cards that we have here. So right now we have a bunch of different elements. We're starting to think about our typography structure. We're starting to think about just uh, cards, buttons, links, uh, all these different things, avatars. We have navigation and icons and just the general style of icons. And we've done this all just from the homepage. Uh, not every homepage is going to be like this, but I like to pick a page that has a bunch of, uh, or just a variety of elements that I can start to build uh, and actually it'll help me dictate what that visual style will be going forward. So the last thing I really wanna do here is I wanna create some cards. Maybe they're category cards. Uh, I was thinking, actually what I wanna go do is I just wanna name that button. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create another frame. Surprise, surprise. I'm just gonna call it card. And uh, what we can do here is we can start thinking about um, what this card could be. So we have like a light gray. I mean, we can use like secondary colors here. I'm not entirely sure just yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna steal in from there. And I'm going to, you know, start thinking about what these cards can be. Uh, shopping habits and interests, so like maybe another way for users to get into like that kind of funnel. Okay, maybe that's just uh, not large enough. Okay, 20 pixels looks good. That's fine. What I'm gonna do is I need an icon. So I'm going to actually, first I'm gonna create a circle within here. And that's gonna be the background. I wanna have like a chevron, a right chevron, making it look like you can click on this and um, just making that look really apparent. So uh, let's just set the background to that, to white. And uh, let's go and find a chevron. So we've got feather icons. Do we have it under arrow? I don't think so. It's actually under chevron. Sometimes it's under arrow. So we're gonna click that. There it is, thank you. And we're just gonna take this, this frame here. This is perfect. And we're gonna plop it right there. And we're actually going to make this another frame and we're just gonna call this Chevron. And that will link to another page. Let's just change the color of that. We could do something like a yellow, like that looks pretty interesting. We could also just kind of keep it like a dark, like a dark black. Um, this can also be like just like a dark gray. I don't necessarily know what's going to work but I'm just trying a bunch of different options here. Let's, uh, let's see what our grid looks like. So we wanna make this, we wanna make this just a little smaller. This needs to get onto our grid. So we got four, four. This also needs to, um, let's think about this. So if I actually, I'm going to shift one, two, that's eight pixels, we'll do 16. And shift control option and using the arrow, I'm going back the other way and I'm actually shrinking it. So I got 16 pixels and from here, a hundred and trying to keep this very similar in height as well, kind of like a square. So we're just going to eight, 16. So we got square here and there you go. Like, uh, let's call this 
Title, oh, actually it's already title, perfect. So uh, we have our little card that is really nice. And if we just uh, copy that, we can start uh, like making other cards based off of that. So uh, another tip, today's trending items, perfect. We can also like make this a different color. Like it could be like that bronze. I don't know uh, what's going to work just yet, but I'm starting to create some interesting reusable cards that I'm really liking. Incoming, kind of like that. Incoming flash deals. And this can be a uh, white text. Oops. And that will be like a blue maybe. I don't know. I, I'm kind of, I know I'm kind of using a bunch of colors here. Uh, but it's all about just exploring what may work. So we got browse our categories, like maybe this just throws them into the category screen instead of just having a bunch of different categories out there. But it also gives us a bunch of different options in terms of like, like, you know, they can view flash deals. Uh, it doesn't need to muddy up that home screen. They can view like the trending items. They can get into like habits and shopping interests. So like, there you go. Like we're already creating a bunch of different UI elements. And, you know, I'm not sure if I am, I'm really like going to settle with something like this because I don't know if it suits the style and just the general tone of the brand. So I may just do a little bit of a pivot. I need to think about that a bit more and, and you should definitely, you should too, because this is your design as well. And you're going to have to figure out what you think is best for you. So just from the homepage, we have a lot of different typographic elements. We have a large card. We have some smaller cards. I think we need to find something in the middle, like maybe like a middle card that we may use um, in terms of size. We have just typographic hierarchy in terms of like the cards themselves. And this is just only using one typeface and you can see the variation that we've created already. It hasn't taken us a bunch of time. We have an avatar over here. We have buttons, links, and we have a navigation as well. You know, pick a screen that you feel will give you a lot of different elements to work with. Uh, that could be different for you. It could be different from the home screen in the way you set it up. And use that to kind of create those reusable elements. And we can even create them into components if you really settled on something. And use that throughout your product over here because you can actually use like those elements to create other elements um, with some variation. Like I have buttons here that I've used. I have different types of elements in terms of typography that can be reused like in terms of the product name and like just the size that I've used here can just be reused here. So it's all about like figuring out what style you're kind of, you're liking, what's going to work for the user, what's going to resonate from them. But also once you've settled, you need to actually think about reusability. You don't want to create a hundred different types of cards. That's fine. Like, I mean, if you have different slight variations, like a button in there, or maybe like a link or like some sort of, I don't know, some sort of price or pill like we have in ours, like just for an example, we have like uh, just price uh, changes. That's going to happen regardless. But think about reusability just so you can make your life and developers' lives much more easier. And plus, when a user is looking through an application and they see something or a style that is just incredibly consistent, it makes that user experience so much more better. If they're going to a new page and every time they get to a new page, everything is entirely different, whether that be just hierarchy in typography even just use of color, something as simple as that could really just make a horrible experience for the user. And it's just incredibly jarring. So think about that as well. Yeah, that's it for visual design and just visual style and exploration. So go out there and have some fun, experiment with typography, experiment with color, experiment with all the different UI elements that you want to build. And I'm sure there are many more pages to build from here. Just take a look at our wireframe. So you can have uh, just so much fun doing that and uh, figuring out which ways you can kind of build just reusability and consistency within our product. And that's it.